Chapter 2 Factory coming up. What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and today we are going to go through chapter 2, the factory. Last time we saw Ayla, she got a little present from the tree, that little helmet hat of sorts. And now she's going on adventure and this is the first time that we have actually a prologue, a little booklet that we're going to read before we start the game. I'm going to do it when I switch the cameras and everything. And now stuff changes a little bit, you'll see what, but also we get two different endings. So we can end uh, like a regular normal way or we can find the alternative ending through the cards, which I sincerely hope that we do because I really want to see how that works. But yeah, let's switch the tables, uh, Let's not the tables, the cameras. Let's switch the cameras and uh, then I'll explain you everything in details and we can start our adventure. So our little adventure starts here. Now, what are the differences? As you can see, we are now a little bit zoomed out because new things are, uh, the rules said so, that uh, we need to keep these things over here because now we are going to have these items on this side and on the right side, we're gonna have the specific things uh, that are specific to the mission. So right now we have these cards, they have a question on them and uh, through the gameplay we're gonna be instructed to take one of these cards and answer the question and to answer the question we have to follow uh, closely these cards the artwork on these cards because the, uh, their answer is actually on the artwork that's what the rules said and uh, yes as i mentioned already we have uh, two different endings ending a and ending b i haven't went through these little booklets i don't know what's inside uh, I want to be surprised as you. And uh, we have a prologue actually, it's a little bit of uh, to get us into the story of, of the everything. So also we have a dice now because we're going to have to fight. And when fight happens, then I'll explain how the fight works. And uh, basically that's that. Uh, the mission is uh, we have five hearts and we have as usual seven days and uh, we can at the end of the turn when we went through all the cards and everything uh, at the end of it we're gonna uh, give out as much as we want usually it was one or two but now it's indefinite so we can put as many knowledge as we want and uh, one way to win is to uh, fill out this with uh, what it is one two three four five ten the knowledge tokens or alternatively find an uh, alternatively find an alternative ending so yeah we can find an alternative ending to the story now uh, these cards as you can see the deck is now a really big fat deck like there's this box is now way bigger compared like wider compared to others and uh, yeah basically that is that when the fight happens i'm going to explain you how it works basically we're going to roll some dice and uh, yeah of course one more thing we have this deck now this deck tells us that uh, we can take the cards from here. These are like fireball spells, stuff like that. And we can use it in a fight or whatever. So yeah, let's go through the prologue. Let's see where the story goes and uh, what's happening. So Ayla is a little bit like a tired. The sun is heating pretty much and she found something. I guess the factory because yeah, it's a one big factory. Now. I already want to watch for the clues. I believe that the clues for these cards are maybe even in here, but they didn't tell us that. So there's a sign with the fork and stuff like that. Yeah, basically she saw the factory, the light is green, but then uh, the red, but now it's a green. And she went inside, she says, hello. Hmm, what have we here? Excuse me, do you know the way to the mountaintop? Because something is shiny at the mountaintop. And I guess these two cats are these two things over here. I can show you the way, he says. But first, you must do what I say, complete your work and you're free to go. So we're gonna have to work in a factory, I guess. And yeah, this is how we set up everything. Oh, we even have a starting resources now. So yeah, submit 10 within seven days, 10 knowledge or no submission, no submission before third night. Oh, oh, okay, so I was not aware of that. That's why these are two grayed out. 
so we have to wait for two nights before we can submit any of the knowledges so first two turns we can't do anything but okay that's fine and we start with uh, we start with three carrots so right now the, you see the things are a little bit different from the usual and I haven't played in a few days now so and we start with one special star resource I forgot what it's called like and uh, yeah that is that let's start the work in the factory this is going to be fun I presume so yeah let's start let's see first card welcome speech welcome newcomers work hard and do your best so we can get two knowledge two fear and card 208 in the future or we can uh, so that's listen attentively or we can make new friends instead wow but i get a card 229 right away it will be the next card to put here so I mean, I do get to knowledge right away, but I can't. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to think about it long term and I'm going to earn two knowledge tokens. So I'm going to go with the option A. That's two knowledge tokens. That's two fear. And card 208 goes in the future and this one goes in the past. So we'll never know what's the 229, I guess. That's for you to discover, right? Okay, next thing. Working in the workshop. Finish the tasks. Finish the task properly. So we have to spend one energy and one knowledge or slack off and be scolded by the boss cat. Oh, I completely forgot to watch for the artwork. So now I see the box containing 10 something over here. I'm not sure if you would be able i think i did i shut off the zoom camera thing yeah but over here there's a number 10 and like a little thing going on there's two fires here so i have to be very very thinking about i have to think all about it so yeah uh, let's do it like this okay let's spend two of the carrots to produce one of these energy like this trade over here but we're going to spend this one right away and we are also going to spend one knowledge to finish the task properly and we finished the task properly this one goes into the future and the thing is so we have a box with a 10 on it i have to remember that that's definitely something important and the clock shows three o'clock there's there's like there's lots of things going on on these cards and the zebras are showing this way stuff like that okay so yeah time for a break it's a break time and we can go to the cantina we can go to the rooftop or we can remain in the workshop and uh, i don't know if we go to the cantina we might get more fear you know somebody might try to hit us or something if we remain in the workshop we can maybe earn something i don't know but we do have a gold we have stuff so oh boy okay let's go to the yeah let's go to the cantina that's card 230 so that's the next card that we are going to play 230 and we are at the cantina so we can eat heartily and earn three energy or we can save up for later and earn us four carrots well there's hamburgers on the menu and hmm okay we did need we do need energy for the end of the day so but four carrots would completely fill this up so i i don't feel like doing that because uh if we if i do that then i can't uh, i have to discard something if i get some resources different ways so i'm gonna go with the three energy and uh this is a green one the green one means what what oh, oh my I, I haven't played in a few days and i completely forgot what the green on the on these mean let me just quickly check it oh okay i'm checking in the wrong area of the booklet what does the green thing mean oh come on i know i saw it somewhere explaining 
where do they go? Oh, this event returns to its original deck. What does that mean? But this is the original deck. Where, where, where should this go? I mean, we can't constantly go around in a cantina and a cantina and it's a... Oh, oh, I apologize. It's a red card. It's a red thing. So once we are done with it, it goes to the back to the deck. So we can go uh, to the cantina again. We know that we can get carrots or energy from cantina. Jesus, I completely, <laughs> I was completely, oh God. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, continue and see what the card 204 gives us. So uh, at, we are at the chameleon's office and the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. That's also good to remember. And there are some books with the flames, gears, some shutdown buttons, some hammer or something. So yeah, here we can exchange two coins for one knowledge because it says minus two X. So double the coins for one knowledge. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that because I don't know if I need coins for something else. Knowledge I can't turn for the first two days. So I'm just going to save up and see what happens. Going to learn this deck a little bit because we are definitely going to go through it. The K9 gang. Okay, so the K9 gang showed up. Don't you know the rules here, newbie? Only the smartest can survive. So we can pay two carrots and get one fear. We can give them two coins and get one fear or we can get two fear. And uh, luckily I saved up these coins. I didn't use them previously. So I'm gonna give up these two coins and get just one fear for now. And I get the card two, one, zero. And this one goes to the past. 210 goes in the future and we continue our mysterious gift thing uh, someone left a fresh carrot at your station oh well i guess we have a friend and the cat is watching in the background for our carrot and there's a hedgehog over here but we got a carrot that's cool and this card goes over here and we get card 212 I guess we're gonna meet some friends. Well, that's interesting. Okay, next card, 207, Mr. Red's Caravan. So he has some golden plate that says something. I can't read it, so I guess it's not important, but I don't see anything else. Oh, I can buy food or I can sell food or I can buy item and I don't have any coins because I had to do the fear stuff but I would then earn a new item I have to remember that so right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give this one carrot you know what no I'm gonna give both carrots for two gold coins I guess I'm gonna need gold coins and I know I can get in a cantina go in a cantina and get some carrots that way so yeah and this one goes to the future to be drawn again and the last one is uh, the one that uh, that we know already that's ho2 so because we know planting we learn planting and we can plant plant in a leisure way and get three or we can get seven which would be wasteful because we can only have five spaces and we would have to spend this one knowledge i want to keep it you know just to have it for the round two so I'm gonna just take three carrots and be done with it. One, two, three. Uh, as you can see, we now carry on stuff from mission to mission, from chapter to chapter, so to say. So these items, cards like this, like planting, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, the day one is over. We need to pay energy or give heart. So I'm gonna pay one energy. And uh, yeah, that is that. We can't turn any knowledge until day three, so nothing happens. We have to shuffle the cards again and start our new day and see what happens now because 
We are working in a factory for some evil, evil cats. So yeah, I guess we're gonna uh, find uh, some questions now that we need to answer. So I hope I remember them correctly. So let's start. Boss cat quiz. Okay, so the boss cat quiz shows us. Uh, let's see what you learned. Get ready for the quiz. Reveal a random, so I can I take cards 214 and 215. These two cards go in the future. And it says that uh, reveal a random easy quiz. So EQ, that's easy quiz. And there in a, I like kind of shuffle them a little bit. Yeah, but let's shuffle them more. And uh, there are answers in a booklet over here. So this booklet. But I'm not gonna show them to you the answers. They are written upside down, so you kind of vaguely know what the answer is, you know, like so you don't see all the right answers and everything. So yeah, let's go and check out EQ2. EQ2 says, which dessert does the canteen offer? Oh man, so now we have A, B, C, and D. I have to answer, and if I answer correctly, I will get two gold coins which I have room for, which would be nice, but what dessert does it offer? And I saw the food up there. So we have an option for, this is like, a, do you wanna be a millionaire thing? So yeah, it says dark chocolate, strawberry cake, banana ice cream, or apple pie. And to be honest, I don't remember, even though we were in canteen, strawberry cake. I don't know, I don't remember if I saw a strawberries or, or any of the fruit. So I'm gonna say A, dark chocolate, and I'm just gonna check easy quiz two, what the correct answer is. So without you seeing, because I don't wanna spoil it that much for you. So easy quiz, uh, option two, the EQ two, correct answer, is not a so i'm not gonna spoil it for you because you know maybe you want to play through it so i know what it is i just saw it right now obviously but uh, yeah i was wrong so i don't get gold coins and uh, that's most unfortunate so let me just see what happens with this one once we answer it and uh, do i discard it or what i do with it you answer a quiz card, choose an answer and check the rule book. If it's correct, you get the awarded state of the bottom card. If it's not correct, you cannot get the reward. Then turn over the card and the award is not available anymore. So yeah, this card is not available anymore. So I'm just going to keep it up here on the side. And yeah, A is not correct answer. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. I'm going to leave for you to discover which one is the correct answer. And I got two new cards. So yeah, wow, <laughs> this is going to be a tough. I thought it would be much easier, but okay. So next one, canine gag gang returns. Of course they return. It's time you show us some respect. They, they ask us for either four coins, minus four coins, and they will go back in a future deck, or we can let them shove you around for two fear. So yeah, I guess we are never going to get rid of this fear. We are now already at five fear and this is completely filled, which is absolute because I don't have four gold coins, I can pay them. But yeah, this means that they go away, at least. They shove me around and they go away because it's the yellow arrow. And uh, 202 says, finish the task properly or slack off, scolded by the boss cat. So yeah, we're gonna finish properly and we're gonna spend energy and we're gonna spend some knowledge tokens and then this one goes to the future deck and the next one goes and we can buy food we can sell food now hmm but I can only do one thing I can't I can't buy item yet yeah that's most unfortunate so I'm gonna I'm gonna sell two carrots for two gold and hoping that next turn I have some leftover gold and I can, I can get, uh, I can, I, then I can purchase this one, purchase an item, which would be really nice. But yeah, right now I just gonna, I'm just gonna get some gold, change gold for food and let's see what have, ooh, luckily, uh, the encounter, the one that left us the gift. 
So hi, my my name is Leo. Nice to meet you. And he gives us one carrot again. Well, Leo, thank you much. Thank you very much. Thank you much, Jesus. And we take cards 217 and 218 and put them in the future deck. And then he goes away. So I guess the story will continue as we go. And then we have this guy over here. And I don't really want to spend coins for knowledge. And we still can't get that much knowledge. And uh, yeah, I'm just watching for the cards, for the clues, seeing how the stuff works. But we are not going to give him anything right now. And then this card comes and we're just going to take one carrot because we don't have knowledge. And we don't have seven spaces to use. I mean, I could get some more carrots and get rid of some of these items, but I don't want to because I have a feeling that we're going to need them. And then, oh, we can go to the canteen, but that's not, uh, we don't need to do that anymore because we already know that we failed that question. I hope there is no more canteen questions. So we can go to the rooftop or we can remain, let's remain in the workshop. Two, three, two. Let's see what happens if we remain in the workshop. Two, three, two. A card, two, three, two is the next card that we are going to play. And uh, we are back to the workshop. So we have a spoon with three, two and a half flames and the fork is two flames and the bags are two kilograms each. So yeah, we can learn more about our work or we can study the details carefully and we can get three books. So yeah, staying at the, so this is how we're gonna get lots of things and we don't have the spyglass, but if we did, so that's an option to buy it maybe on index shop. We have to remember that. But for now, I'm just gonna take two knowledge because I have two open spaces here and I hope that those Wolfgang guys will stop harassing us. And this card goes back in its own place in the deck. And the, the day is over. So, yeah, I forgot to turn these cards over. So, yeah, day two is over. And we put our energy up here. So we don't put health tokens. And now, now we can give books next turn. Not, not this turn still we can't give out anything and uh, yeah let's see what happens day three sort of in our uh, work in a factory and let us hope that things goes better for us because we have lots of fear now i really want to remove it because i need to fill it with the knowledge because we need we have five days so basically until the end of the seventh day i have to give at least two knowledge at the end of each day to be able to win like normally but if I give more, then I can maybe skip one day or stuff like that. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? This is a tough one. So yeah, the first one is time for a break. And I know I don't want to go in a workshop because, and I don't want to go in a canteen because I'm full over here and full over here, which is most unfortunate. I would wish if this card would come later in a turn, but what can you do? So let's go to the rooftop and see what, what is happening there. It's card two, three, one. This one goes to the future. And let's see what happens on the rooftops. On the rooftops, oh, finally. This is how we can get rid of these things, these fear tokens. So yeah, on the rooftop, we can relax and remove two of these. If we have, if we have the mouth accordion we could uh, like uh, harmonica we could uh, like relax and remove three or and uh, we don't have the rope but if we had rope from previous scenarios we could try to escape actually that might be the ending b who knows but yeah we we don't have the harmonica so we're just gonna remove two fear we're just gonna relax on the roof so and this one goes back in the deck so now we know everything we want to go on the roof if we get lots of fear. We want to go in a canteen if we need food. And we want to go for these books uh, to stay in the workshop and continue our work. So 217, working together. The deadline's coming. Let's do our best, Ayla. 
and they are working together and uh, we can't see anything much from the I'm trying to just remember some details but basically what we do we get one knowledge token which is excellent and we get card two 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 and this one goes here and the card 222 goes in the box in the box in the future not in the box and now we can buy some knowledge but I don't want to do that because I want to buy that item that's why I'm saving these gold tokens I hope they come soon not now not now with this so yeah this is completely useless for us right now we can't get any food or anything okay so we can finish the task properly and we're gonna have to do that because otherwise you know uh, I have to take three fear and fear would make me remove one of these and uh, I can basically just remove it doing the task properly and just give two carrots for one energy first and then give energy and knowledge come on so I have to remember that that I have to have carrots for energy and knowledge you know there's lots of things to remember okay so oh finally finally I'm gonna give out three coins and we're gonna do purchase so we can either buy some kind of a backpack or harmonica so we can either buy big backpack which I presume gives us more stuff to carry in our bag or harmonica so we can easier but thinking in advance because we carry these from mission to mission I'm going to try and I'm going to not try I'm going to do and because I can remove two with harmonica I could remove three which is good but still I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a backpack so yes providing extra storage space for resources so I'm just gonna keep these two because they don't do anything so let's do it like this I'm just reading I never read the little rule the little things that say over here yeah it's just a flavor text so nothing important but this one big backpack can hold carrots coins and these little star tokens so yes as I presumed I mean it was just logical to presume and we take card 213 and put it in the future and this one goes to the past I guess the cat is going to quiz us soon let's hope we do our best we have now some extra storage stuff a creepy shadow do not be afraid I'm here to teach you how to use the magical stone but I don't have the magical stone oh oh so we have we can now take the cards oh so how to use these magical stones we can either, either take fireball fireball or healing so I guess fireball is also used for fights and healing I presume is also used after the fights you know to heal up yourself I want to heal my mind and body or I want to be able to protect myself let's be able to protect ourselves yeah but no oh, I don't know okay let's take fireball so we take a card 223 I guess that's when the dogs will attack us or something because some some and why I'm knowing why I know that this is the first time that I'm playing but uh, I know that because there are some in explaining in the rules in the rule book so they use the uh, like an example of dogs attacking you and you using fireball so I guess that's the route that we are going to go for and basically now we have a fireball which means when we are in a fight I can spend this token to get plus 10 damage to get rid of the dogs and this is completely reusable so we're just gonna keep it here on this side so yeah I have a spell now and then this one goes to the past and the next one is a mechanical failure so we have a toolbox and we could fix it for one energy or we can inform the boss cat and get three fear which is insane and I don't have carrots because that card with that I can earn lots of carrots came in a really really bad time 
or I can just ignore it and take a card and I don't want to take fear right now I know it's a bad thing to ignore it it will probably bite me in the ass later but now I have this storage and things so I think I would be able to do it so 224 card 224 goes in the future and I hope it comes later in the turn where I can do things maybe set up for it so 214 boss cats questions of course it's the last card time for more responsibility where shall i put you may i work in the kitchen or may i work in the archives so i guess we can choose uh, let's let's work in the if we work in the kitchen we would probably get lots of carrots but in the archives we would probably get knowledge that's what i'm thinking right now so yeah let's go to the archives that tells us to take cards 220 and 221 oh come on not allergies right now i'm gonna start sneezing like crazy so and we take the card 235 and we reveal, reveal it immediately it's training time so what we need to do observe cl observe closely and work hard so that will get us one energy but two fear one i mean one knowledge and two fear which is kind of okay because we're still okay but then we take the card h 5 to our deck oh okay so we take card h05 for sure so we take this in our hands now where did that where did what where does this card go when we get it the h cards let me just quickly check it Find the corresponding number card from the heavy card deck, put it on top of the upcoming deck. This will be your next card reveal. So, so we're gonna reveal this card next. So we're just gonna put it here. But for now, because now I can turn to the knowledge and I'm gonna take two fear and one knowledge because now I can give as much knowledge as I want and I probably wanna give three knowledge up here. So, we put it over here and then we take this card and see what happens reading we can read now yes read in a leisurely way so we can remove one oh man if i had more spaces but yeah okay we're gonna read in a leisurely way this removes one fear and gives us one knowledge which is good otherwise if we had energy or if we had a spyglass yeah but we don't have the spyglass do a research thing so yeah and this one goes to the future and this concludes our day and oh we messed up a little bit we don't have food to create some more energy so we're gonna have to lose one health and put it over here which is not good but uh, still it's fine it's fine we can do this and yeah i'm gonna be missing some tokens so these heart, these hearts they i don't know if i mentioned already but these wooden components they do not come with the game these uh, these hearts are the only things that are not wooden but cardboard so i just decided to use wooden components because they are easier to pick up uh yeah uh, we put one heart over there and we're going to we are going to give out three energy not energy jesus three knowledge tokens up here i'm gonna say one because i know that i need one from those cards one of those knowledge one of those cards require knowledge if i remember correctly so uh let's go and see what day three if i'm not mistaken brings us so let's see what we get in a day three i hope that i don't have to play this one again so far we managed to go on a first try but if i mean if i don't go on a first try if i don't manage to win it you will not probably see this it would be terrible for me to upload five tries of winning the scenario so yeah let's start first card working in the archives oh man so luckily i saved one knowledge which is good work hard to come up with solutions and i give one knowledge and only get one fear otherwise i would get four fear and this would be filled with fear which is a big no-no but now i know what i need to do now please let the cards be in correct order 
I would really, I could really use some carrots now to transfer them to energy stuff like that. Mr. Red Caravan, so I can buy food or I can sell food. Let's let's give this one coin and let's buy some food. I'm not sure. If, just if I need some energy, I would have two food. So yeah. Uh, let me see, oops, if I have something interesting to see on the card, yeah, he's selling cheese and some sweet popsicles, so that is that, oh, I bumped all these tokens, okay, oh, wrong deck, wrong deck again, HO2, yes, nice, but I don't have any more knowledge, I saved knowledge, but yeah, I just get three carrots, which is okay, this is still, this is still good, we can probably use these carrots for something, but oh boy, you just can't have everything in this game, I guess. 222. It says, uh, oh, Leo's company. Leo is here. So, Leo, I bet you are tired from writing reports and he can give us one knowledge or remove one fear. But if I'm going to take one knowledge. I have a good suspicion that one knowledge would be a nice thing to have. And uh, let's see what 202 brings us. So yeah, exactly what I was thinking. We need this to finish properly. So I'm just gonna take two carrots and turn them into a energy. And then I'm going to spend that energy and knowledge. And I am going to finish the task normally so I don't, don't get three fears and completely fill this with fear. That would be really bad. And now I can buy knowledge, but I don't have any gold with me, on me, however you want to say. Ooh, this deck is not good to me. Okay, so I can lead, read in a leisurely way, or, or I can do this. I can spend two carrots to get one energy, and then I can spend that one energy to remove two fear tokens. Go away, fear and get two of the knowledge tokens that's good this was a really good card no i can't do that because i don't have the spyglass thingy oh my god i almost cheated so yeah let's move these two here and let's give back my two carrots because i'm an idiot and I'm not reading the rules correctly. So basically, yeah, I'm just going to remove this one to get one knowledge. That's all I ever going to get from this card because I guess I'm not going to get the spyglass thingy. Another quiz, finally. Okay, are you ready for something more challenging? I'm ready, Ayla says. Reveal a random advanced quiz card. Okay, so as I failed on a... Okay, advanced quiz card. AQ and I take cards 226, 227, 228, 226, 7 and 8 and I put these three cards in the future so and I shuffle these cards a little bit more and I just reveal one of them and the, the cat asks it is a AQ4 where is the power supply located? What power supply? Where, where did I see it? I mean, I watched through the cards, but come on. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. The canteen, the archives, the kitchen, the rooftop. I think I saw some electricity thing when I was on the rooftop. So I'm gonna say the rooftop is the correct answer. And if I manage to correct, correctly answer, I'm gonna get an item and I'm going to get a two coins, which is good. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I, I say that uh, the correct answer is D, rooftop. And is it correct? Is it correct? Come on, please be correct. So that's AQ4, AQ1234. The correct answer is D, a rooftop. Which means, oh yeah. And we, when we go to the rooftop to relax, to remove this one, I'm gonna show you where I saw it. Yes, we get two coins and we get an item that looks like, wait a second, is it this? No, oh, we get a sapphire. 
We get a sapphire thing. Thingy. So a prize given by boss cat. This might become useful in the future. Anytime I can discard. I can discard this card and get two coins for it. Which is really nice. So I have actually two coins over here that I have to have in mind anytime I need it. And this card goes away because we answered it correctly. Yes, for us. But uh, yeah, let's uh, continue. Where were we? We put the cards. Yes, we did the random quiz. We are awesome. We are awesome. We know how to do stuff. And yeah, that's time for a break. Now, do I want to go to the rooftop? and remove this these fears right now because we have only two more cards so end of the day is near and i really want to buff it up with the with the knowledge so i can put out more knowledge there so i can maybe one day don't do it so i'm gonna stay and remain i'm gonna remain in the workshop to uh, 232 232 is a workshop and we are going to flip it and uh, since, since we don't have the spyglass thingy, we're just gonna get two knowledge tokens. That's good, that's really good. And then this card goes back. 232 goes back in the deck. And we go to see our next card, what it is. A shadow's offer. So the shadow is back again here, tired of writing reports. There are shortcuts, you know, so what is the shortcut we can ask her or I can finish them on my own. So yeah, let's take the shortcuts. Let's see what happens if we take the shortcuts. Card 237, 237 is the next one. And the uh, shadows hint to win over the boss, always start with her son. Take the gift. To win over the boss, always start with her S O N, son. With son and then three dots. To win over the boss, always start with her son. Okay, that's really weird, but whatever. So we remove one fear, we get one energy from it, and we get an item, a sword, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, a sword called Glimmer. This is a sword called Glimmer, and the sword says. In combat, once per combat, you may reroll Ayla's die and use the new result. This is come, going to come in pretty handy, so I'm getting stuffed with the items over here. So let's hope this one probably, we didn't see any fight. I guess this one is a fight. An explosion because we, ah, uh, we ignored that thing stuff, you know. Oh, come on. This is not good. Basically, what happens is we lose one health token. So I'm just going to keep them over here near me. We lose one health and we get two fear. I said that's going to come and bite me in the ass, but I didn't expect it now. And uh, yeah, I need this energy because I don't want to lose any more health. So we need to lose this thing, the knowledge. And then this one goes in the past. And that's the end. We finished. I mean, the end of the day, that is. But I did put three in here, so I'm okay still. So first thing first, we're gonna give out two more knowledges. We're gonna give out one energy. And then we are going to shuffle these guys and start a new day. And there were no fights or anything, yeah. I guess we are going to finish the normal way. Alternative is really hard to find. I thought it would be much easier, to be honest. Okay, let's see what the new day brings. Oops, we have some stuff. We have some storage over here. We don't, we don't forget about that. Okay. Felinus, I know what you've done, but remember who's boss here. So I can start the fight or I can stay out of trouble. But I need two energy to start the fight and I only have enough carrots for one energy. Ah! 
this game is going to be the end of me. So I would really, really want to fight her because I'm equipped with the sword, I'm equipped with the fireball spell, but I can't, so I get one fear. So I'm constantly getting fear and I guess I'm gonna have to go to the rooftop and I didn't get harmonic, I get the backpack and now I don't get anything for it. So yeah, yay, reading. We still don't have our spyglass thing, so we're gonna just remove one fear and get one knowledge. Oh, I forgot to, I have to leave some knowledge for some cards. Luckily, this card came in before the other cards did. So yeah, the cunning fox, the cunning fox says, oh no, it doesn't says anything. I have to either defeat her or I get robbed and she takes two of my coins. And now this is how the things works in a, work in a fight. So she is a strength four that you can see up here, number four. And uh, I just take this red dice and I roll it. And if I roll four or higher, I defeat her. Otherwise I lose fight and then I lose health. Uh, so, but uh, if I uh, throw this shield thing, then I would not lose health, I would lose one health less. Otherwise I would lose health, uh, meaning the health, is, I lose health how much the difference is. So if I roll a one and it is strength four, I would lose three health. Is that correct? I think I'm saying the stuff correctly. If it's lower than the enemy combat value, execute cancel losing option. Oh, no, 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 I don't lose health. Losing, I execute the losing option. And in this uh, instance, the losing option is I get robbed. So I don't lose health. I lose health if it says that I lose health. I apologize. I know it sounded weird when I said it. So yeah, let's roll and let's not forget that I have a sword. So in a combat, I can uh, reroll my dice and see if uh, I get a better number. But I need four or more to win this fight and I got a four, which is enough for me to defeat the fox. And I remove one fear, which is really nice. And we continue. And the 202 shows up and it requires us one energy. So we have to give out two carrots and we have to give out knowledge because energy and knowledge. So we work normally and we can continue on our own. A reminder, how's your report? The deadline is approaching. You feel stressed. No, I, I don't want to curse. Yeah, I feel stressed. So I get one fear and this one goes in here. So it's going to show up every turn. Yeah, that's really nice. I guess we're going to have to go to the rooftop now. And here it is. And we are going to the rooftop, most definitely. So that's a card two, three, one. 231 the card says that we can just relax we don't have either a rope or the harmonica so we can't either escape or so we just remove two of these spheres and you see that energy supply it's right over here there's like a little thunder on it so yeah good let's continue we have freed some space from here and we can now spend two coins to buy one knowledge i'm gonna do that because i think there's still one card that requires knowledge from us and i already have two gold over here if i need it for something so let's see what this card says so leo's company again so yeah i can either take knowledge or remove one fear i think it's okay three fear is okay it's not clogging my space over here and I think that uh, this harmonica and this bag thing was a bad idea because I can't feel this one. That's most unfortunate. So, oh, so I can work hard to come up with a solution. That's just one knowledge. I give one knowledge. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's again, I can, I don't have to give knowledge, but I will get four fear, which means it would eat one of my knowledge up. So I will give one knowledge just to get one fear. Either way, I would lose that knowledge. So why getting four fears where you can only get one, which is most unfortunate because I don't know if I'm gonna fill this up until the day seven. 
and Mr. Red Caravan thingy. So yeah, he's asking me for food, but I still haven't played that card that gives me like a bazillion food. So gazillion food. But I would need energy to produce more. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give up this Sapphire. So I'm gonna give up, get rid of it for two golds. So I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna get two gold coins and then I am just going to buy one carrot from this guy and then because I have two carrots I'm gonna sell those two carrots and I'm gonna get one energy and you're gonna see now why that's because I am playing this deck like for a fourth time so you have to learn some stuff playing that many turns so if you didn't follow if we oh I didn't I don't need energy I need knowledge for seven but still, still, it's a good thing to have energy. And if I give knowledge now, I can... Oh boy. Oh boy. So I shouldn't have sell that one for two gold and... Yeah, that was a stupid idea, but okay, doesn't matter. So what we are going to do is... We are going to do that. I'm going to risk it a little bit. So I'm going to spend one knowledge to take seven carrots so one two three four five six seven carrots and i'm just gonna fill up all of this with carrots and the one carrot that does not fit here will of course go into the backpack thingy you know what i'm going to do just to have everything in my sight so that to don't forget about it i'm just gonna keep my backpack here like so that way I know it's here and uh, yeah that was the last card for this day and uh, I think I didn't put in any new cards and yeah, haven't I so yeah we are just gonna put this one over here and we don't put any knowledge in here because we don't have any knowledge that's most unfortunate but it is like what it is so yeah the new day starts we shuffle the cards and hope for the best and I hope the cards will come in the correct order now because I would really really need a lot of knowledge at least three so I can finish this oh boy I, I really feel pressure right now because if I don't win it that means that an hour of gameplay went down to the drain yeah again this one and we don't have knowledge we don't have energy we could get energy but still we don't have knowledge so this one was not a good one to come first so we get a lot of fear and if i stay in a workshop and work i'm still filled with fear oh boy this is going to be a tough round but i need need to put at least two knowledge somehow in here and again the cunning fox is here we have to attack her uh, let's hope we get one but we do get a reroll from our sword and I get a five which means I defeat her which means I can remove one fear because I'm afraid of nobody and the next card goes and I get one fear from the fall from the cat oh man these cards are really going after me and yes reading remove one fear get one knowledge and if i had a research thing i could do so much better oh i should have taken that item instead but what can you do okay philinus so philinus oh i can now start a fight with her or him whoever he is so i will just Oh, wait, wait, I can't start a fight with the Philanus. You know why? Because I don't have room for the energy in here because the fear is taking. I can't just remove it and I need two energy tokens. What I can do is get rid of this one and put... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna risk it because what can I do? I have to do it like this. So to put two energy in here, I need to spend four carrots. And I need to put two energy and now I can start the fight. I would get rid of two energy and I would take card 239 
239 239 239 and i'm going to start the fight with the cat's gang okay so now i'm fighting the frog and if i don't have any fear on me he would be two but he is four and if i defeat him i would take the another card and uh, i get injured if i can't defeat him okay we have the fireball but i'm i guess i'm gonna have to save it so yeah we need again we need another four come on give me four come on give me four and i get a four yes so i defeat him he goes over here and i take a card 240 so i guess i'm gonna have to fight with entire gang come on lady luck cat's gang the crow so if i have accordion he will be five i don't have accordion i have a backpack accordion would be much better but otherwise he is seven which means we can't defeat him on, on just with this dice alone we need some extra boost in a form of a fireball but i only have one fireball and i presume that i will have to fight the cat and then i can't win against the cat so how can i get up to seven let me just just quickly check can i do anything else oh oh i completely forgot i can spend any any amount of energy to boost my score by two which means i can spend two carrots to get one energy and get seven if i get five or more or in, on these dice so let's try and do that i get a six i'm on a roll so i will spend two carrots to earn one and to make one energy and then i will spend that one energy and i will i will add two to my score which means i have eight now which means that he is defeated and i take the card to card 241 whoops 241 is the gang buffalo and we are still not done i guess we are still going to have to i can pay three carrots to make him 12. to make him seven i mean he is 12. wow and if i spend fireball i will probably not be able to defeat the cat as the last one so i'm thinking maybe getting beaten by this one and then hope for the best Oh, come on. What should I do? What should I do? If I spend it, if I spend, this is a 10. Let's roll the dice. Let's see even if we are, we're gonna need this one. Because if I get two times one, even with this 10, I would not be able to defeat him. But with the five, I can. So I can either now spend my fireball and give me 10 so that's a 15 if i only had three carrots oh man cat gang buffalo it says to take another card that must be the cat the last one so i'm gonna risk it but if i don't give out any knowledge right now, i'm gonna get one fear oh man this is so tough decision making going on Come on, what can we do, what can we do? We can still win the normal way. But I guess this is the, the alternate ending, maybe, to fight with the gang and fight your way through the, I don't know, something. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend my fireball. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna spend my fireball. So I have 15, which means I defeat this buffalo thingy. And then I will take card card 242. That's the last card. That's the cat, most definitely. Yeah, the cat gang surra surrenders. The cat gang surrenders. Actually, the buffalo was the last one. Oh, I am so glad I decided to play that that uh, fireball thing. I can't believe this, you monster. Take the badge. It says, congratulations, you have found another way out reach ending b Woo, baby 
I get the the badge, the badge that I defeated the cat, cat's eye badge. And this badge means that I, it will probably be useful in a later games. It says surrendered by Felinus. This badge is a symbol of power among the feline gang. Display to enjoy privileges. In combat, I get plus two. So I have a sword, I have pendant, I have fireball. I have all these things now with the backpack and everything. I am ready. So we have to go through ending A. No, ending B. We have reached the alternative ending just one hour. So the cat says, please, I beg for your mercy. And I look, and Ayla looks at them really angry. Here, here, take this and go. He gives us the badge. There's a secret passageway through the ducts. Show this badge to the watchtower and you'll be safe. And so we go through the ducts and, and uh, oh, the, our friend is going with us. That's awesome. And so the eye is looking at us and we show, show it Ayla. Ayla says and the eye sees it and it sees the uh, whatever the, the emblem the, the cat's eye badge and it gosh that was close he says or she I'm not sure if it's he or she this little rabbit thing look there's a hole in the fence and we go and we are in front of the mines and I know that the next one is called mine so yeah Okay, so use a pencil to record the completion, completion of chapter 2 ending B in your diary. You acquired items, support, so I have all these cards that I need to put in a backpack and be ready for the next game. And that is that. We ended the factory ending B, we found it. I am so glad that I decided to cast that fireball and win. Oh boy, I was for sure that that was not the alternative ending, that the one where we tried to escape was the alternative ending if we had like the rope thing. So yeah, that is that. that. That was the factory. You saw the alternative ending. There's lots of things that got unexplored. Lots of cards here, like five cards that we don't know what they are. Some cards over here that we never saw. So yeah. It, it was tough. I thought for sure that I would have to play another game of this, but luckily I didn't. So yeah, uh, we are going into mines next. Uh, where is the box? Yeah, it's behind me. So we are going into mines in the next mission. So join us. Uh, yeah, that's all. That's that. I, I'm still. I am still. Whew, I'm still like pumping adrenaline. Uh, this was a lucky shot. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, disliking this video. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for spending time with me. Uh, if you want to see all the other scenarios right away, if you don't want to wait for them to come out later, uh, you can support me on a Patreon for merely two bucks a month. You can see all of these videos in advance. I put them up there like a Netflix style and uh, you help to grow this channel you help me get maybe better cameras uh, better sound uh, everything i get there i invest into more content on this channel so yeah thank you for considering supporting me and uh, do join me next time when we are going into mines and see what happens with ayla and her friend and uh, until then positive